Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Cole and welcome to a Sims Free Play house tour. This is going to be a house that I have built on the private island that we have just unlocked. The private island was given to us in the Valentine's update in 2018 and you can have the opportunity of being able to build houses on there if you complete the love and treasure discovery quest. Here is the private island with the villa on. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. First of all, before we get into the tour of the actual house, I have to say that this private island is absolutely adorable. I love some of the little items that we have here that we can interact with. You can see our two sims over here on the hammock, chilling out together, so sweet. There's also a horse where they can take romantic rides along the beach together. It's just so adorable. And then as they're riding along, I think they'll share a little kiss at some point. Yeah, there we go. There is this outdoor shower as well, which they can use. And this double sun lounger where a couple can sit there together on the pier and look out to sea. Let's get into a tour of this villa. So it is two floors, well three floors technically, but because we don't use the first floor, because the first floor is this raised platform over here on the island which can be moved around which I think I did actually move it back slightly so we have some more room at the front here so I could put down some towels. You go up the exterior stairs onto this balcony area where we have a hot tub of course but on a private island the most of their time is realistically going to be spent outdoors I feel and then around the front here is a relaxing seating area with a stereo so they can listen to some music and there's also a barbecue and a seating area too. The villa does have this front door over to the side, but I put a whole wall of these folding doors because I figured that, you know, you're on the beach, you're on a private island, even if you're inside preparing food or whatever, you want to have the kind of the outdoor feel even inside so you can open up that whole entire wall, which I thought was a nice little touch, but this is the actual front door where you would come in. And when you come in, you have a little lounge area here. I've used the new villa furniture that we got. And I just thought I put a little telly in because I thought, you know, maybe just to have a little telly. But realistically, if I was on this private island, I certainly wouldn't be watching any TV. I would be out enjoying the sun and enjoying all the activities there. But I figured it was good just to have one. And I've used the big blonde chalet windows, again, for that whole kind of outdoor, indoor type of feel. And then it's kind of just a big open plan downstairs. We have the stairs in the middle that go up to the next floor and we just have the kitchen over here. Pretty basic standard kitchen with some fruit out and one of these little baskets, which I think is so adorable that we got with the villa. We also have down here, a kind of just little store room because upstairs you'll see that there's not really that much room for storing. So this is where people can maybe store some of their clothes, their suitcases and things. And then we have a bathroom back here. I have used the villa floors and walls. I really quite like this green wall, to be honest. I didn't think I did at first. I was like, oh, actually, it kind of looks quite nice in the bathrooms and things. And then the big dual sink with the mirrors, which I really quite like. And if we go on upstairs, you can see that there is two bedrooms. So it would be fine for kind of mum, dad, two kids to come over to this island. We have a little landing area here where, again, I have put some of the big chalet windows in. I think on both sides. Yeah, on kind of both sides so you can see right the way through. And on one side, we have the master suite, which I have used. I kind of didn't know whether to use this bed because it is huge, but it, it is the bed that came with the island, with the villa, and I kind of wanted to be using the new furniture, but it doesn't leave any room for anything else really so maybe it was a bit silly to use it if i use a slightly smaller one i'm just going to turn this fan on because i love it uh yeah if i'd use a slightly smaller one there's only two spaces like a double as opposed to a king size i would have been able to fit a wardrobe in there as well but as it is i am not and also i couldn't fit a bedside table i did have a bedside table over on this side but then once i put in these villa windows which are amazing they have these little blinds on and you can roll them up but it means that you can't put anything in front of them whereas like normal windows so this chalet window over here i can put a bedside table in front of it but i can't with those ones which is a bit of a pain but never mind they did actually put things in front of them on the house that originally came with the island but we're not actually able to do that ourselves but never mind 
And also on this side of the landing of the upstairs is a bathroom. I questioned whether to put this type of window in, this like whole length, whole wall length window. And I thought realistically, it's a private island. There's no one else on it. You should be fine with that window in there to be honest so uh, yeah I went ahead and I put that in and I used the shower that we got with the villa which I really quite like that shower I kind of at first I couldn't understand placing it down because I figured that that the bit there the screen bit should have been against the wall and it was only after a while of trying to place it I was like no actually though no, that's like the shower curtain bit so that should be on the outside I don't even know I don't know what I was thinking but it's just a pretty simple bathroom there it does have a bath as well and it does have one of those windows just to let a little bit more lighting because I did struggle placing some windows in this house to be honest and then over on the other side we just have the kids bedroom we've got another one of these fans it really reminds me of our villa in Spain that we have been to kind of every year since I was like five or something and we used to have these ceiling fans above our beds we had like a double room like this and I would sleep in a double room ceiling fan above my head and I used to lie in bed like watching the ceiling fan go around and around above me and it used to really freak me out I was like what if it just fell down it would like slice up all my legs and that's a bit gross anyway <laughs> that's kind of what it reminds me of I have used the cheap beds single bed because I kind of figured it went with the whole theme they're just like some little wooden wooden beds the other ones didn't really go with the whole kind of rustic vibe that was going on with the villa and then from the landing actually you can go outside there is just a little bookshelf there in case you want to do some little holiday reading whilst you're lying in the sun and you can come outside onto the upstairs balcony that goes all the way around the house as well oh look she's chilling out in the hot tub there why not i don't think actually someone else can someone else get in i'm not sure if he will oh yeah he can join i didn't know whether he could join because of how i positioned it that's quite good so there is my two bedroom island villa i'm really enjoying this little island and i feel like i want to maybe create like a hotel on here and maybe just some like different ideas so if you have any ideas of what you would like to see built on this island do let me know down below in the comments thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new hit the bell to make sure you get notifications of when i upload a new video and i will see you guys soon bye